Sentimental Journey rolled off the Douglas assembly line in late 1944 and was accepted by the Army Air Corps on March 13, 1945. Manufactured too late to see service in the European War, the aircraft was assigned to the Pacific Theater for the duration of the war and later as a photo mapping plane flying to all corners of the Pacific. This B-17 was then transferred to Eglin Field, Florida and was converted to an air-sea rescue craft. During the 1950s, the B-17 was converted once again, serving with a drone squadron at Patrick Air Force Base in Florida. During this time, Sentimental Journey participated in Operation Greenhouse, the fourth post-war atmospheric nuclear weapon test series conducted by the United States during the spring of 1951. On January 27, 1959, final military orders were cut, transferring the airplane to military storage at davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona. Within a few months, 85314 was acquired by the Aero Union Corporation of Chico, California and became a civilian aircraft as N-9323Z, the registration which remains with her to date. For the ensuing 18 years, an aircraft that had been designed to survive no more than 100 missions flew literally thousands of sorties fighting forest fires throughout the country. On January 14, 1978, at a membership banquet for the newly formed Arizona Wing of the Commemorative Air Force, Mike Clark announced the donation of a B-17G aircraft to the CAF for assignment to the Arizona Wing. A contest was initiated by the local media to name the aircraft, which resulted in more than 800 entries with the ultimate selection of the name Sentimental Journey. The decision was made to use the most famous pinup picture of World War II for the nose art. Permission was secured from widower Harry James to add Betty Grable in her most tantalizing pose to complete the newly acquired bomber. After Sentimental Journey entered service with the CAF, Arizona Wing members immediately undertook the chores of cleaning, polishing, and repainting the World War II markings and honing the ship into excellent mechanical condition. They also initiated extensive crew training so that Sentimental Journey was prepared to fly with the CAF fleet. But even the aircraft's excellent condition wasn't good enough. Sentimental Journey was still not an authentic flying fortress without four operational turrets, operational bomb bay doors, navigator and radio operator stations, and a Norton bomb site. Most people would have been content to continue the project bit by bit over several years. But the Arizonans were eager to complete the restoration of all military systems used by the B-17s during World War II. In December 1981, the wing voluntarily grounded the airplane to undertake the restoration, installation of the chin and ball turrets, and the restoration of the navigator station back to the original condition. Members soon learned that restoring an airplane meant trips to junkyards, bargaining, trading, or begging with anyone who had a needed item, or contacting businesses that might be able to fabricate a part that could not be located. By the end of 1981, they were ready to put all the pieces together. But first, under skilled hands, Sentimental Journey literally began to come apart. The interior was stripped of all paint and grease. Paint stripper was sprayed throughout the interior and members armed with toothbrushes stepped in to clean the nooks and crannies. The aluminum skin was removed from around the nose, cockpit, and back to the top of the bomb bay to make way for new sheet metal. The entire aircraft was rewired and a new instrument panel constructed, complete with lettering and artwork. The radio room was outfitted with a new radio operator's table and radio racks. Boeing Aerospace in Seattle donated valuable assistance by providing pictures and engineering drawings. During a visit by Sentimental Journey to the Seattle plant in 1979, shop personnel installed a new nose turret, the first major piece of equipment of the restoration. The most difficult task was locating a top turret. One was eventually found through Art and Berdine Lacey, who owned the Bomber Gas Station in Milwaukee, Oregon, where a B-17 had been sitting on top of their station for over 37 years. Harsh weather and vandals had done significant damage, but the top turret was still intact. A deal was struck between both parties. B-17 
the Arizona wing would provide much needed work for the bomber and the Lacy's would donate the top turret to Sentimental Journey. First, the members had to prepare the parts they would need for the Lacy's plane. A new glass nose and facsimile top turret were fabricated along with a fiberglass tail. In July 1981, a team arrived at Art Lacey's gas station, and in 48 hours they had replaced every piece of glass in the plane and all three missing doors. A dummy fiberglass top and tail turret were installed, topping off the work with a pair of simulated 50 caliber machine guns for the chin and tail turrets. The crew reported that there were no words to describe the Lacey's hospitality. By 1982, the top turret, along with the Cheyenne tail turret, were installed on the Sentimental Journey. Over the next three years, restoration continued on Sentimental Journey. The work was performed outdoors since the Arizona wing still did not have a hangar. In 1985, ground was broken for the wing's first permanent hangar facility. With the new facility, repairs to Sentimental Journey could now be performed inside, by 1986, Sentimental Journey was making an average of 60 appearances annually throughout the United States and Canada. The Commemorative Air Force is honored to bring Sentimental Journey to the public today. Sentimental Journey is not only a flying museum, but more importantly, a flying memorial to the men and women that built and flew these aircraft and to the many that did not return and were laid to rest in overseas cemeteries. Thank you to all our veterans, past and present.